Moves into the circle. APAP got it up to the point. Not out. No, oh, not shot. No. Goal, Ohio State. It trickled. Absolutely trickled. It was tipped out in front. And just barely got past Letheman on the right side. And the Buckeyes will win it by a final score of four to three. Tough way to end the season. It's a little heartbreaking after that overtime loss to lose that way. It wasn't a good feeling. It left a bitter taste for us. Have that in the back of our mind at the start of the season, how that feeling uh, felt for us and making sure uh, it doesn't happen again and just getting back to work. You know, there's a clock ticking on, on your time here and um, it just puts that extra pressure on you to uh, accomplish your goals that you want to accomplish while you're here. You know, all summer we've been working our tails off, on the ice, off the ice. You have to explain the why to them. Uh, you have to say, hey, we do this because this is where we want to get to. And I think when you have a championship culture or a, a championship type attitude, I think uh, guys realize that. But what sometimes uh, they have to be reminded of is not to back off. You know, being close is fine. Uh, but when, you, when you're close and you lose, you're still losing the game. And the other message was, hey, all the other teams are going to be working. You know, they're, <laughs> hey, they're training in the off season. They're getting better. Uh, they're getting bigger. They're getting stronger. Uh, and that's up to us. And we have to do that, plus continue to get a little better. And the freshmen have come in and they sort of got comfortable during during the summer, sort of with all the guys. We just tried to come in and, and meet all the guys and, and make connections as soon as possible and, and um, definitely make strides in the weight room and, and get used to the, the pace on the ice and, and the speed and skill, obviously, and set a positive uh, role for, for all of us going in and, and try to be as close as possible to, to form a, a pretty tight-knit team early on. We know it's at stake here. I mean, we want to have a good year. We want to put Michigan State hockey back on the map. So, you know, no holds barred. Like, we're just going after it. Guys that have worn the sea before me, um, you know, guys like Jim Slater, Tori Krug, uh, our two coaches, and Brad Fast and Chris Luongo. Obviously, a huge honor, and I think most importantly, I wanted to uh, make sure that the culture is still going in the right direction. It's something that uh, has been a focus since my freshman year is changing that culture back to where it needs to be around here, and that starts in the summer when the new guys got here. You know, us older guys really wanted to implement how we wanted things to be done around here, uh, and it's really growing on that every day. It's just a little bump right inside that circle. You know what I'm saying? Good block, baby. Way to be there. Yeah, good shit, Paps. Even if it's down to me quick and right back to you, or vice versa. Yeah. I think it's something that I've learned a lot over the last couple of years, um, you know, how to be a good leader. Um, I think the most important thing for me, at least, is, you know, having the respect of my teammates. Um, and you do that by building relationships. Sometimes it's not always something that needs to be said. Sometimes, you know, a guy realizes he makes a mistake. Um, you know, and just making sure everyone's held accountable with that said. So I think everybody um, in our locker room knows that that's the mentality that, you know, guys are going to be held to a certain standard. And if we keep that standard, then we will be successful as a team. That goes D to D, then that guy yeah, in the dock so can jump, right? It depends now. It depends. Yeah, we're always going to jump. Biggest thing with coaching is just teaching. I think that, uh, you know, that's what it comes down to. You have to figure out you know, not only the right, right things to teach the young men, um, you have to figure out how to uh, relay that to them. You're going to go up the wall. If a guy picks you, you stay with it if the guy behind calls. And if not, you just close. Check down, check down, zip it on that. If you take off and go up the wall, it's real easy to close, right? Stick on buck and you got nowhere to go. We want to imply uh, or impress upon them, you know, what they need to know to be a, a, a better athlete individually and, and also how that ties into us being better as a team. And uh, you know what, we go out every day and you know, hopefully they learn something a little bit better and, and add something to their talent stack and that's, that's what we're looking at doing every day. The compete level is very, very high. Uh, we've been playing against each other these past few weeks. You know, guys are anxious to play against other opponents, but yeah, you know, guys have been battling and guys are fighting for spots, and I think it makes everyone better. So there's good competition, and, and that's good every day. We push each other to get better, and, and same goes with the forwards up front. There's a lot of competition, and, and everyone's going as fast as they can, as hard as they can to try to make the lineup. 
Northern and Cornell for sure going to be tough, tough games for us to win. And I think uh, those would be good tests for us early in the season, playing uh, some high-ranked teams that have uh, some expectations behind them. We're going to be an exciting team this year, a team that works hard and plays the right way. Um, last year, you know, we took a big step. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to build off that this year. And we're going to be giving up, a, you know, less goals, scoring more goals, special teams improved. Um, it's going to be an exciting year. Down, down three, family, oh, six, one, two, three,